Good morning. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> so yesterday I did a little poll to see which painting you would like to see me do, which was kind of fun. Um, and the sunflowers won. They got 12 votes. The rose got nine and that photo was taken by my neighbor. Um, the figs got eight and the donut got six. So who knows? I may just paint these each week and then I won't have to uh, think about it so much. I'll just go down through the list. Wouldn't that be fun? Because they're all fun things to paint. So how is everybody today? Hi Kate, see you soon. Hi Lisa. Hi Megan, hi Helen. How's everyone doing? All right, so I'm painting the sunflowers. I did a larger one of this the other day, like the 18 by 24 maybe. And it's um, drying in my living room. And it turned out a lot more red than I kind of meant for it to, but I kind of like it. It feels very, very fall and, and festive. But here, I posted it the other day. Maybe you saw it. No, wait, let me turn this around. So I'm all set up here. I was just getting panels ready to paint this morning. So I already got a lot done. I always like that. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Sharon. All right, so what have I been doing? I've been mixing the colors first, haven't I? Should I do that? Now I'll just do, I'm gonna do my base layer and maybe my pigment sticks and then mix paint. Somehow that works better with you guys. I do it the other way around when I'm by myself. All right, and I need a sip of my coffee. I haven't had enough of that yet today. Okay. Whoop, a little bit of medium out. I've been using liquid lately because I need, good morning, Bonnie. I've been needing my paintings to dry a little faster. I've been lucky, the last, lucky, fortunate, um, most of the last few paintings I've been doing, I've been selling before I even get them, barely get them listed, which is so fun. I love when that happens, it makes me happy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, Work on my transparent layer here. So what's new with everyone? I'm still like knee deep in show season. And um, I have a show this coming weekend at Longs Park, which is I'm so excited that I got into this show because it's only like 10 minutes from my house where my mother-in-law lives. You can actually see her house like from right outside of the park, which... And she only lives five minutes from here, so which is really nice. Um, I'm going to like the convenience of it, I know. Although it is fun to, like, go to Rittenhouse and stay in Philadelphia, but you have to just be more prepared. Like, doing this show, if I forgot anything, I can just um, get it when I go home after I set up, which is really nice. Just take some of the pressure off. <clears throat> And then I have um, Rittenhouse as my last show of the season, and that's in Philadelphia. That comes up um, the week, not the weekend after, but the following weekend. That's like the 14th, 15th, and 16th. I always forget. I've been working on stuff for them, and you'd think I would remember the dates of the show, but crazy. There's things that don't stick in my brain that I wish would. So what's new with everyone? Oh, there's a little one back here, too. <clears throat> and then back there. So I bought these flowers at Central Market on Saturday. Is this your photo? Love your references. Yes, it's my photo. I, I bought these. I was only going to take a picture because I love this one that's, like, looking up, and you just kind of see the underneath. It's kind of all tucked in. And I was taking a photo of it market, and I'd already got myself ranunculus. So I felt like I'd already treated myself to flowers. And then when I saw this this particular one right there, I thought, well, I have to buy them and do a legit photo shoot. And I'm glad I did. Pretty soon, flowers will be slim pickings at market. There are always some flowers to buy, but not as fun off season. Um, how do I want to do this darker part back here? 
I don't know, maybe I'll do the, I'm not sure if I want to do the background kind of a purple or what I want to do. Allow artists around the world to buy your reference. <clears throat> yeah, that would be a fun idea, but it's um, logistically making it, it'd be like having it being a stock company or something. <laughs> the back end of it would be a nightmare. <clears throat> I'm trying to get away from being on the computer so much. It's not working, but I'm trying. <clears throat> I do still spend a lot of my day on the computer, whether it's... Um, you know, um, entering my artwork into like artwork archive. That's what I keep all my paintings in to keep track of everything. It's really a great program. Um, you can enter in all the, the details of your painting, like um, what date you painted it, what's it painted on. Like then once it sells, you can put in there, you know, who you sold it to, all that information. It's nice to keep track of all that. I'm not an organized person. But um, I constant. I'm always trying to be though. Always trying. Um, thinking what else is is new. I'm not sure that anything is right there just getting ready for my last few shows this is a leaf there's a leaf down here <clears throat> looks really dark what's your weather Bonnie my weather I don't know I um outside shaking out some rugs this morning and it was wet and I think it was warmer than I thought it was going to be because I put on yoga pants and that was not the right decision for this morning so I had to change because I know I'm going to be hot if I go for a walk or something today so it looks like clear skies but I'm not sure I thought it was supposed to rain now that you're saying that I don't know are you in Rehoboth now the horizon line is just below this. I might kind of make it be right on there. Maybe I'll do purple backgrounds. Are you a Mac or PC user? I heard that Macs are a lot of... Yes. Oh my gosh. I am complete and total Macintosh user like to the extreme. I learned on a Mac and that's the only thing I know how to use. I, you put me on a PC and I'm like a one arm paper hanger. I don't know how to like scroll up and down to get anywhere. I do love Apple products. That's how I learned. And when I went to college, it's going to make me sound terribly old, but when I went to college, computers were just starting to be a thing that you used. And my first computer class that I took, art computer class at Kutztown University, we had to write a program to show the change of season. So I had to write the code because that's the only way you got anything to work. There was no like layout programs or anything. So I had to write code <clears throat> to make the leaves on a tree, that, like the, the program drew the tree and then it made the leaves come out on the tree and then they turned colors and then they fell. So I had to write the code <clears throat> to make that happen. Which I actually enjoy doing. But isn't that crazy to think, as young as I am, it wasn't all that long ago that that's how, the only way you could use a computer. It's nuts. This already looks pretty, doesn't it? Does anybody else remember that? Around for that crazy uh, transition? And then at my first job, that's that's when... Um, we actually got a computer, but like we didn't even really use it for anything. It was just sort of there to play with and learn on. And then before I knew it, everything was on the computer. When I started my business, so I go, I still have, oh, look, I'll show you. I want that, but I still have it. 
I still have to do the dark insides there of my and now I remember why I like doing this transparent layer first, because sometimes when I start and I mix my colors, then I don't have anywhere on my palette to do my transparent um, colors. Carolyn said, I had a computer class in high school. The hard drive took up. Yes, yeah, so I had to go to the, use the big computer in a room at college, too. Ellen says, Young, there were no personal computers. I know. Can you even think about that? And now we have it. I could have never imagined that all the things our phones would ever be able to do or that we'd even have one. My first phone I got, car phone, was in a bag, one of those bag phones, because my son was young and I wanted to make sure if anything happened that we had a phone in our car. But gosh... It's too funny, and we never used it, I don't think. I think it was really just there for safety. We needed it. That's fun. I think that's good. Well, now I'll do my pigment sticks, and then I'll mix colors. Cleaning off <clears throat> my palette. So where's everybody listening from this morning? sticks out. Yeah, too expensive to use. That's right. It sure was. See, Gabby's in Seattle. Yeah, early dial-up. Yeah, remember the sounds of dial-up internet? <laughs> I'm just putting little bits. I love this blue, Provence blue. I don't know what it is about it, but something very fun about it. <clears throat> Rainy Connecticut. Oh, is it raining there, Deborah? Stormy Florida. Oh, that's right. You're getting like crazy storms, aren't you, in Florida? More downtime then. Yes, there was a lot more downtime then. I don't think there's any now, right? Ever. Not even for a minute. <clears throat> Alan says, have you worked with Telex and Fax? Yep. I had a Fax. Nova Scotia, Orland Park, Illinois, Texas. Good morning. Painting my favorites. Oh, good. Mississippi Gulf Coast, Cloudy Berlin. Central Alberta, Canada, Queens, New York. There's Allie. Hi, Allie. Beautiful voice saying, you've got mail. Oh, that's right. That movie was good. Love that blue, too. Yes, thanks, Tina. So do I. Thank you, Irma. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. All caught up. Little bit of darkest dark in here. That's good enough for that. What other colors do we want to add? I did green. Oh, I didn't do my my fun like turquoisey color. Need a little bit of that in there, don't you think? <clears throat> so yeah, if you're anywhere near me, come see me at, at Long's Park this weekend. The show at Long's Park goes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we set up on Thursday night, and it's it's a really fun show. I did go to it last year. Um, it's arts and crafts, but like cool, really cool, high-end, fun things. Oh, you know what? I don't have is gold. That's what I'm missing. I have a little gold. My gold's been a little soft lately. What are pigment sticks? They are actually oil paint in stick form, and they're... Um, um, they just kind of help loosen up my painting. I try to let bits of it show through in the end. Uh, and they have a little bit of wax in them. I think that's how they are able to make them stay um, in the stick form. See, that's fun. I like it. All right, let's put this away. Oops, I dropped something. I don't know what I dropped. Oh, I dropped my blue pigment stick. I better get that. 
way. Okay, so now I need to mix yellows, browns, greens, and kind of a neutral. I don't know. I would like to have a little maybe purple in there just for the whole um, complementary color. I don't know if I want it to turn out purple or if I just want a little bit of purple to pop through, but we'll just see what magically happens. So I'm going to pull this down here and get ready to make some colors. Yeah, I like how it looks already too. That's always a good sign. Okay, I'm going to start like with my dark browns. Um, and the brown feels like it has a little of a red tint to it. And that's almost pretty good too for the shadow side of the one flower. Just a touch more pink in there. Cleaning off my palette knife before I dip it in another color. What colors did you mix? Get the reddish tint. Bonnie, I used, um, I think when yes right away, I still remember. So I'm using transparent brown oxide was my main color that I have up here. And then I used a little bit of magenta. magenta. It's right here. And a little bit of um, permanent rose. So it just skews a little bit toward red. And now I'm going to add... I think I'm going to see what... This is cadmium orange. I don't always have this on my palette, but but for sunflowers, it's a beautiful color. One of the things I was thinking about doing in inspiring art, <clears throat> I've been itching to like do a painting in like 60s colors. Like take a painting that's, I don't know, even this, or maybe it's something that's not orange, but and mix up colors that are like avocado, oranges, browns, and I can't think of what other color mostly that, maybe a little bit of yellow, and mix it up and paint the painting only with those colors. I think that would be so fun. Always an excuse to play. Oh, that's nice. That's um, a really good color. I feel like it's a little dry. I'm just going to put a little dab of liquid in there. Now I can't remember if I used liquid in my base layer or if I used my pig, my uh that's terrible. I have no idea what I just did. Oh Kim. Whatever I did, that's what I think. Well, I must have used the liquid because I have little scrapes of purple in there. So I feel like I'm still gonna need a few more of these paintings for um for Rittenhouse at the end of the season. So that's a really nice array of yellows. Um, I think I'm gonna pull a little bit of this down and I'm gonna make a little bit more of a pink. Now maybe that's too red. Um, where's my Montserrat orange? I'm gonna use a little bit of this color. Not for any reason other than I feel like it. Sometimes that's a lot of the reasons why I do most things that I do. <laughs> I guess that's trusting my intuition, huh? Or an excuse to play is always good. Pull that a little bit more brown. It's kind of a neutralized brownish pinkish color. like much quieter than this set of colors. All right, that's good. <clears throat> All right, now 
Now I need some greens. <clears throat> greens are kind of really a little bit serious. That's a little bright, so to desaturate that, I'm going to use a little bit of red in it, make it less vibrant. Um, that's something I think I have inspiring art. So if you're my inspiring art group, my membership group, we have a session today, and I'm going to paint um, with um, thinking about desaturating colors. Now that's nice, but I do need that to be a little more muted again. So I'm going to put more red in there, um, maybe a little brown. I want to quiet it. Ooh, that got, ooh, that's nice. Now look how that turned into, it looked red there for a little bit. <coughs> now it's kind of a neat olivey green, which I think is really nice. I'm going to pull that out and add some white, but I have to clean my palette knife off. <coughs> Excuse me. mix that all together. I don't feel like I had enough of that other color. Oh, that's a little more what I'm looking for. Kind of a quiet muted. I knew so much red I put in there, but that looks good. All right, now I need <clears throat> my background color, which I'm going to kind of use still these same colors. I'll do my brown, a little purple. Um... You know what? I feel like I put this out on my palette. I love this fun color. No, wait. What did you, Ellen says? Mom had a chartreuse bedroom and maroon dining room. At one point, she went to burn orange, avocado, yellow, and chocolate. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. I My dining room is chartreuse. And I love the color. I love how it looks, but... I'll tell you, when I photograph paintings in there, it throws off all the color. So I would definitely paint it a much more boring color next time. But most people don't worry about how paint, paintings photograph in their dining room, right? <laughs> well, that's a fun color, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Love, love it. All right. Having oh, difficulties here. Didn't feel like I had enough, so I added more of that turquoise color to it. And that's really, I love colors like that that you can't quite name. And then I need kind of a white for my <clears throat> bottom. My, it's actually the countertop or whatever above my computer, my uh, TV cabinet. <clears throat> Oh, that's nice. That should be enough. Okay. All right, so there's my palette. I love it. And you, I always say if you know your palette looks good right here, it should look good once you get it all into your painting. Let's back a little bit. See what I missed. Jennifer says, I painted my dining room ceiling cobalt blue and the paintings look weird in photos. Yeah, a gray room. Same. That's what this... Um, which color green did you start with? Oh, I used sap green. This is, um, in inside of Inspiring Art, I showed you one time how I photograph <clears throat> things, a lot of my reference photos, and it, the wall in my, my living room is like this color, whatever that is, like a topish grayish color, and the, the tabletop, it's a built-in, is white. And I love photographing. There's a nice window right next to it. And I love the light that comes in there. And that's where I do most of my photos, unless I go outside. <clears throat> so it's nice if, if you're an artist to have rooms where you can photograph your work. I want to let happy accidents happen in here. I don't want to cover everything up that, that I have. 
of underneath here. <clears throat> Just pulling that ever so slightly, that's some pigment stick there, so I don't have to do much to move it around. Starks are probably right about here. Um, So what do you use when you make the transparent layer? Is it just diluted oil paint or dilated with what? <clears throat> um, that's a good question. So that underneath part where I keep it transparent, it is, I use transparent paints. So some colors are transparent, some are opaque, and a lot of colors have like a little thing on that will either tell you that, or sometimes there's a little, no, wait, I'm looking for one that has it. That has a little, like Winsor Newton has this little box. I'm pointing on my phone. See, that means it's a transparent color. So when you mix it with, I either use Zest It, which is a mixture of, um, what does it have? Linseed oil and a tiny little bit of turpentine. Or I have been using liquid, which does have a little bit of a smell. I don't know if it's quite as healthy to use, but um, I only use that my transparent layer, then I close it up and use straight oil paint after that. Um, yeah, so that I love the transparent colors. I love um, letting little bits of that show through. That is like when there's just the transparent color mixed like with the white of your canvas it, it's the brightest glow of color that you can that I've been able to achieve I shouldn't say it's never tried everything in the world but I find that it gives a really nice glow pull this over a little bit there we go whoops all right so I'm going to do some of my darks. Tonight is a blue moon. Oh, is it tonight or tomorrow night? Is it tonight, Allie? Are you going to see it? My, my neighbor, my friend Emerson's dad actually bought a telescope. So I might be able to go see it tonight. I thought he said it was Thursday night, but maybe it is tonight. Of course, I don't think we could see it here. There's, It's too light where I live at night. I think we'd have to go to a field or over by the school or something with the telescope. Tonight is the blue moon. Okay. And what's blue moon mean? I did want to pay a little more attention to the moons. I, in my little bullet journal that I started this year, I did put the moons in there, but I can't say that I've paid much attention to what, what they all were. Now that's that blue that I that um, dark background color that I mixed that had a lot of this jade green in it but you'd never know it it looks totally gray on here doesn't it might need to mix a little more with more green largest and brightest moon for the year oh that's fun all right i'll we'll have to um try and see it tonight Allie says, I don't know, but if there's anything you really, really want to do, now's your chance. Is that right? Is that what they say? Like, this is when the magic happens with the moons? 
Huh, what are you manifesting, Allie? Hmm? Sky's the limit, huh? Love the neutral make the, yes, it does make the brights pop, doesn't it, Ellen? Yeah, because I was thinking I wanted it to look more turquoise, but I think I probably won't change this because it's, an, um, looks, it looked good. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of love it just the way it is. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess up what I got going on. Got to just trust my intuition. I think that's the um, biggest lesson of art is like trusting, listening, being slow and steady and intentional, like all those things are kind of what makes it all work. I don't want to do too much in there. But I do want that to be the shadow side for sure. And this could have a little bit of that kind of shadow color and in here. It was fun, too. I asked everybody what they thought of. I just can't quite get myself going on my calendar. And it's not that I don't want to do it. I love doing my calendar. But I don't know. I don't know that I feel like I had a solid direction of what I wanted to do. So I did a little poll on Instagram. And most people said do a mix of things. So instead of just doing birds, which I think I don't really want to just do birds... And kind of gave me permission just to have fun with it. So thank you for that. Now I've got to get working on it. It's just been such a busy year. I'm kind of behind on like holiday stuff. But I do have some ideas. I kind of like how this looks. So I have to very intentionally go in and work on it but not lose the magic that it already has Shoot. your calendar should be your acrylic abstracts my gosh Carolyn I would love that Oh, Ellen, yay, come see me at Longs Park. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> that would be wonderful. I'll look forward to seeing you. Um, yeah, I don't know if that would sell my acrylic abstracts, but man, I love doing them. I did a few for Isabel for dorm room. <clears throat> dorm room. She's in an apartment now. She's not in a dorm. And they were just so fun. And then I did one. So Betty Krause has... Um, a new abstract florals. I love her paintings. I actually have one of her paintings in my living room. And they're acrylic abstracts. So much fun. And she had a course. So I did it the other day. I have a link. There's a link in my bio here in Instagram. And I'll put it, when I save this in YouTube, I'll put it in my, my YouTube description too. If anybody wants to check it out or try it out. It was a lot of fun. It's not It's not expensive. It was just like, I think, $97 or something. I could spend $97 and have that much fun. I'm all in. But my painting went on a, quite a journey. I posted it yesterday. Did you see it? I know, Irma, mean, it does kind of look finished. This is. I want to learn to let my paintings be this loose, but I'm just not quite there yet. Like I feel like it's not finished. But I do want mine to pop. Um... I saw your acrylics for your daughter. They're beautiful. Thanks, Tina. Yes, they were so much fun. And she loves them. And she's always the best. 
And my daughter Emily came home for corn pie with her husband last week and took some of my paintings back with her and has them hanging, have them in her house. I love that my kids oops, want my art in their homes. They love it. And so does Alex and Danica have lots, lots of my art in their house. Okay, taking my time here. What time is it? 8.36. We're still good on time. Because I don't want to lose all these pops of color that I have. I don't want it to get too tight. This is the looseness I'm always going for. Good morning, Nancy. Are you home from your trip? Thank you so much. The sunflowers are so beautiful and so quickly. Thank you. Do you have your own art hanging in your home? <laughs> I sure do when I have art, but right now during art show season, like one of my art friends, um, Milby Barn Studio. Is that what it's called? Kate? Kate's coming and staying here with me this weekend. So we've been like, you know, making sure the house looks half decent and I have like no art on the walls because I'm taking in old art shows. But in a couple of weeks when the art shows are over, my walls will be full of my art and I get to live with it and think about it. Unless I sell all of it, then I'll make more. That's my favorite problem to have. I think um, I might do some of the white at the bottom. looks I just saw you were live oh hello to South Korea wow how long will you be there and what time is it in South Korea seeing that granddaughter of yours it's so fun she's adorable Um, so I don't want that shadow, this, <clears throat> leave that kind of chunky like that, I think, 9.30 p.m., oh, so what is that, 11 hours, or 12, <laughs> my brain's not working, you can't see. Is this too strong in here? I think I have to soften this a little bit. I don't want it to be so dominant, that shadow. But I do like those blues popping in there. Oh, oh my goodness. I got a huge chunk of green paint there. That would have been a problem. That wouldn't have dried for ever. 13 hours. 13 hours in North Korea. That's such a cool experience to get to go and, and visit there. I know it's a crazy journey to get there. Huh. I like how that looks. Yes, I do. Okay. Talking to myself. So I just need to kind of go in and do some of my lightest lights. I think I like how the vase looks. I want some of this, this green... Like that. I even like those colors showing through there. Am I ready for my lightest lights? I like kind of how that looks a little kind of magical over there. Magically messy. All right, we're going to go lighter now. <coughs> Thank you. She said she likes my painting. I don't want those whites showing. And then I'll go in and do my lightest. Lightest lights. 
could do my, a little bit of lighter green too in there. love the pop of turquoise in the leaves. Me too. I need to... It's really dark right in here. What pencil do you use? Pencil? Pe paintbrush, maybe? The, I'm using a Traquel Spectrum 3000 Bright number 20. It's my favorite. here. Oh, that's good. I don't know. I think I don't need to really touch that. Maybe just a little bit here. A little bit of dark. Love that. All right, I'm gonna try not to touch the left one anymore. I think I might be happy with the top one. I just need to do my lightest lights. Trakel makes a sturdy brush. I'm tough on brush and it holds up. Irma, yeah, it is it is definitely one of my faves, one of my two favorite brushes. It does hold its shape nicely. Whoops. A little green. You know what? I don't want that, so I'm going to take my little my little thing that I sign with and just clean a little bit of that off. Because that green, I'll just keep making it more and more green. I don't, I don't want it so green. Is the lightest lights, the bling. Yeah, that little bit of sexy. At the very end. It's always hard to wait. I have to hold my brush this way. I feel like my paintbrush might be a little too thick for this, but I don't want to get precious, so I'm not going to go to a smaller brush. I find that if I use a smaller brush, then I'm, I, I get too precious with the details. 
Um, And this is all a little dark in there. Hmm, what else do I need to do? Um, do you like this petal feels a little dominant or a little aggressive or something? So I'm going to quiet it a little bit. So at this point, I try to look to see, you know, where my eyes go what's drawing my attention in a good way or in a bad way. Like this looks lumpy in here. That's better. Um, and I do like this little green. Right there. All right, what else does it need? I like the reds in here. I wonder if it needs to go a little darker. They look so happy. The one in the shadow looks magical indeed. Yes, I love that looseness of it. Um, does it need a little je ne sais quoi? Little Yeah, I think it needed that little bit to bring it forward. Okay, what else what am I missing anything? A little too rigid that edge. So we softened it a little bit. It's still the same. Um, ready to sign. Okay. Is that my sign to stop? I think it is. A little bit of white right there. Yes, yes, yes. Time to stop. You are right. I'm leaving those bits of magic in there without. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you for stopping me. Sometimes that is the hardest part. So there's my image. And I'll show you up close. There's my painting. And then there's my palette. I didn't mix any different colors. The last flip of blue and the shadow flower brought the painting. Yeah, it needed that over there, didn't it? It needed a little, little something so that that flower got to be the star also. So um, I pulled my hair up. It <laughs> drove me crazy. Sometimes my hair drives me nuts. Um, so I will, whoops, I'm cleaning up before I should. I will be live for Inspiring Art Group. If anybody's in my group, I'll be doing that 11 today. And I will be at Longs Park this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And then in two weeks, I'll be at Rittenhouse. Um, and then my art show season's over and life should settle down a little bit. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. And we'll do it again next week. I will save this on my YouTube channel. So if you pop over there, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And maybe even leave me a comment. I try to pay attention to those. So thanks for coming. Always fun hanging out with all of you. Have a wonderful day. Yes, then the, oh gosh, Allie. Yeah, then the holidays are coming, right? Yes, yeah, see you guys. Goodbye. Thanks.